Security guys, my name is Anime Internet, bringing you guys another Black Ops 2 thoughts and opinion video. Uh, last week I talked about perks and what I want to see and change and blah blah blah. Uh, you, if you missed that, you can check the annotation on the screen now or a, the link in the description below. And before we get underway with everything, I just want to say that if you disagree with me, feel free to share your opinion in the comment section below. But don't sit there and call me dumb, stupid, or retarded. Don't insult me. If you do, I will just block you. I don't need people like you on my channel. But anyways, uh, today I'm going to talk about point streaks. Um, I want to see point streaks back. I think it's it's really good. It encourages people to play the objective. And uh, I, I like being rewarded for more than just uh, kills. I want to be rewarded for playing the objective, capturing flags, and planting bombs, defusing bombs, and so on and so forth. I, th I do feel like they need to make a, swipe, a slight tweak to it because I feel like it doesn't encourage people enough to play the objective. Um, so, so, for example, capturing a neutral flag, so you know, when the game starts, you hop on the first flag that's right in front of you. You should only be rewarded for one point. But capturing an enemy, uh, an enemy flag requires... There's more risk at capturing an enemy flag, because people know that you're on the flag. So I think if you capture an enemy flag, you should be rewarded with two points rather than just one. Uh, and when it comes to bombs, I had a little trouble deciding on how it should be. Should it stay at one per, or should it be one for planting, two for diffusing, or vice versa? But I think, I think, in my opinion, I think it should be uh, one point for planting, two points for diffusing, just because when the bombs planted, they're going to camp the bomb site and uh, wait there for you. So it's a higher risk for diffusing. That's my opinion. And let me know what you guys think that should be. Uh, I want to see strike packages back. I like the concept of it. I like being able to uh, select different strike packages for different classes. Of course, I want to see that returned. Um, but uh, I want to see salt. I want to see support. I want to see specialist. But uh, support and specialist need to be tweaked slightly because uh, you know this is a different engine or not a different engine, but a different company that's making it. So it's a different style, different feel. Um, first of all, support. There needs to be no, absolutely no lethal kill streaks within the support uh, strike package. Uh, so no stealth bomber, no remote sentry. Uh, that's that fucking care package dropper thingamajigger. Uh, should shoot at you and stuff like that. All that should be removed. It should just be pure uh, support base. Um, you know, counter UAV, UAV, and so on and so forth. Uh, specialist, since this is a different game, it's more slower pace. Um, it, it, well, I'm basing that off of Black Ops. They might change that, but I don't know. But if it is based off of how Black Ops plays, um, Specialist needs to be toned down. So, like, okay, just imagine, like, taking one War for Threes Specialist right now. So that you have your Specialist bonus. You know how you feel like a superhuman. You're fast. You're, you know, you're able to run uh, longer and you and stuff like that. And imagine putting that in a slower-paced game such as uh, Black Ops. You are going to destroy everybody who doesn't have the special uh, strike package on, you're going to rape shit on them. Even in this game you do, but but since this game is more fast paced, it's a little more balanced than it would be if it, if it was in Black Ops 2. So uh, I think that you sh uh, for Black Ops 2, you shouldn't be rewarded with all the perks. Uh, I think you should select your first three to start with, and then your first three you get, and maybe uh, when you hit the specialist bonus, maybe you get three other perks or two other perks or something like that. Um, I don't know. Just a, a thought there. Uh, it needs to be turned down. And lastly, lastly, the Blackbird. We all know the Blackbird is extremely, extremely powerful in uh, Black Ops. I mean, what, if you could be having the shittiest game of your fucking life, but a teammate of yours throws up a Blackbird, there you go. You, you're on your Blackbird, you got your chopper gunner, you got your dogs, and, and your entire team will just trash all over them. So I think that needs to be turned down, toned down a little bit, and how I propose to do that is just make Blackbird personal. Uh, I think that'll balance it a little bit more. Um, I, I did, you know, fool around with the idea of having a personal Blackbird kill streak and a... Uh, you know, uh, team-wide, but I think that, you know, people will be spamming Blackbird for personal and then uh, then spamming a team Blackbird become really unbalanced. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed that. I may have more on Point Streets later. Don't forget let, uh, to let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see in the Point uh, Street package and changes and stuff like that. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, stay dirty.